Cassidy weighing in at 170.15 pounds. He brings to the ring 18 wins, 9 by way of knockout and 4 draws. Wearing white with red and green shorts from Tijuana, Mexico. Please welcome Hector Rapetito Flores. And now introducing his opponent across the ring in the blue corner. Officially weighing in at 108 pounds even. He brings to the ring 18 wins, nine by way of knockout and two losses. Wearing the red and blue shorts from Swansea, Wales. He is a former world title challenger and the current Commonwealth and European flyweight champion. Make some noise for Jay Harris. Jay Harris versus Hector Flores. Swansea versus Tijuana. For the vacant WBA Intercontinental Light Flyweight title. Ten rounds scheduled. Harris in the blue trunks, red trim. Flores in the Mexican colours, white, green, red. Good jab there from Harris and then blocking the, the left hook there from Flores. What a fascinating fight. Both men coming down in weight. Flores has fought here before. Harris not. Quick hands oh. there from Harris. Nice left hand. Lovely sharp left hand. Good reaction there from Harris. Again, four pounds might not seem a lot, but when you usually box at 112, we're talking oh, like two percent of the body weight here. Good left hook, right hand there from Flores. Oh, it's a huge. The smaller you are, the, 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 the bigger difference it makes, isn't it? Of course. Coming off the back of that body shot stoppage against Sandoval, where Jay Harris took a lot of punishment. Maybe a surprise defeat for many people. Yeah, well, it was. He, he, he never looked that good, Sandoval. He looked decent, but not as good as he was, and he was fantastic on the night. And this is the first chance for Jay Harris to respond. But some sharp work here from Hector Flores. And much has been made of him being undefeated. 18 wins, nine by way of knockout, and those four draws early in his career. A little faint there for, for Harris now, I think, for, just before he throws that jab. A nice uppercut there from Harris. Good. Nice little left hook to the body there from Flores. Staying nice and low, he's a short fella, he's staying nice and low, that's good. Nice right hand off the back of the jab there for Jay Harris. Fabulous support here for, oh, left hand there for Flores, but... Credit to... Harris, he's worn a few oh, shots and landed a lovely uppercut of his own. It's going to warm up nicely, this I think. Mm. Both there to be hit, aren't they? Certainly are, and both with well identical records in terms of the wins as well. 18 9 by way of knockout as Harris ships another left hook there. Flores punching him a few times, and both exchanging body shots. Oh, left hand there from Flores. I mean, we know Harris likes to go to the body to end a fight, as does Flores. Okay, he dives into so far out, Flores, with that left hook. Pretending it would be, it would be, um, be able to read there for, for, for Jay Harris. We're talking about the weight cut, and Flores has come down a weight for this fight, but earlier in his career actually entered the ring at minimum weight, 105 pounds. Round one, a delicious appetizer. Both men have come to fight, come to throw. Good jab. Yeah, Harris beating Flores to the punch that time. So there's little feints, the switch of the gloves before getting on the jab from Harris. That's better. See when he, keep, when he just keeps it, keeps it nice and long, Harris. And there was a frustrated... 
face there from Harris as he shipped that right hand, but then Flores follows it up with another left. He is quick off the mark, Hector yeah, Flores. He is, yeah, he is, and he? he jumps into the attack, he jumped it in, throwing that double left hook. And Harris lands a left hook off the back of a body shot from Flores. Good jab there from Flores. Harris needs to start moving his head, that's a good work from him there, good right hand over the top. And he's start moving his head when he throws the shots. Oh, uppercut there from Harris as Flores backs onto the ropes. And, and then Flores, shorter reach than Harris and giving away height as well, but he has beat the Swansea man to the punch a couple of times. Oh, that's nice work there from, from Harris, all shortening that, chopping down with that right hand. Come back with a left hook. And just trying to again, like he was in the previous round, just trying to walk Flores down. Well, both landing there, but Flores landing the cleaner of the shots. That's oh. straight left, and then Harris. Couple of left hands to back Flores up, but then he throws the left to get himself off the ropes. Yeah, I think Harris went through like, a, like an uppercut hook to the body, and Flores bent his legs and had to take it on the chin. Well, Harris looking to go to work with those uppercuts. Oh, lovely body shot. Well, that left to the body, a real hallmark of Jay Harris's work. He's been a bit more wary with the right hand defensively for Harris, but as I say that, he's got a low guard and Flores tags him with a left hook. Yeah, and he doesn't need to be on the ropes, he's got to turn Flores here now. Oh, both landing with left hooks. I think Flores might have felt the worst of that though. Well, when they're both throwing, quick and together than anything could happen in this fight. <laughs> Love to see that left hook exchange again as it's a big game. Oh, Harris working nicely. And, and again there, that was a lovely look there. Just a little slide back with the feet there to get through some space there for that left hook. Yeah, and then lands in the short left hook again, making Flores miss. Good start to the round for Jay Harris. Really good work, fast hands, using the feet well as well there, Harris. Just like to see him make sure he keeps that chin tucked down, that's all. Just lifts it up a little bit now and again when he moves back. He's just throwing those three punch combos and looks nicely balanced as well. No oh, uppercut oh, there from Harris, lovely shot. Oh, and then again, the left uppercut this time from Harris as Flores walks in. Oh, good shot there from Flores. They just dip the legs and come over the right hand over the top. Come on, Jay! That's good from, from Harris there, the combination. And he's just getting out of trouble, not allowing Flores to fire back. Not being a stationary target, the hit. Do your work, get out of the way. Halfway through round three. Flores' work rate just slowed down a little bit as Harris's has increased. Oh, but then he lands a heavy uppercut and a left hook, and Harris comes back with a left hook of his own. And again, exchanging with those left hooks, and again, Harris just marginally getting there quicker. But not troubling Flores. Standing clean again, the good left hook and a right hand there from, from Harris. Flores really looking to load up on some of these shots, isn't he? But it's slowing him down and lovely feet from Harris. Yeah, it's a lovely spin around there. Didn't get, didn't get the rewards he deserved, actually, from that move. They did there, though. That's beautiful work there from Harris. Lanza, and again. Lands the heavy right hand, then the flurry in close.
lovely shot there from Flores. And oh, Harris. Nice throw, solid right hand there. Round four. Flores the first to the middle of the ring, but again Jay Harris dances round, steps off the left foot and lands the right on the way out. Nice combination again. Little nod of approval there from Flores. Oh, shot there from Flores. After Harris had done some good work, and then the right hook from Flores. See, I don't think it was. I think the movement was good from from Harris. I don't think the punches were good. They were too, too a little bit too short, and not enough on them. I don't think there was any effect. He needed to do it. I mean, the move on that he made the move on the target right to produce some good work. I don't think he did. That's better from him though. Again, a constant change of direction. Not going to allow Flores to to set himself. Left hook off the ropes there for Harrison. Tries to step outside, but Flores stops him from doing an uppercut there from Harrison. Lovely shot. But again, being tagged doesn't phase Hector Flores at all. He's having some success here. Mm. Harrison's trying to get hold of him so he can push him back. Lovely uppercuts there from Harris. And the right, then the left. He loves it, doesn't he, Flores? He's sort of calling him on. Oh, again, the uppercut gets through. Again, Flores puts the hands high and walks forward. A bit more accuracy in the work of Harris, isn't it? As far as he's, he's letting his arms go, you know, and he's hitting the targets, but not cleaning often enough. Yeah, those uppercuts in close from Harris are lovely shots. Again, I'm not sure the power is bothering Flores at the moment, but again, it's just clean work. And he eventually wrestles his way off the ropes, but he looked pretty comfortable there, didn't yeah. he? It's not a great place to be. Even if you are comfortable, it's not a great place to be. Wrestled into hands. the neutral corner and Flores just let go as a heat himself. That's a few shots cleanly, Flores. Again, Harris not too affected by the power. And I think that's dangerous for both men when they start to think they're comfortable yeah. with being tagged. That's good. Off, that's good movement off the ropes there from Harris. He's walking forward and wanting to engage. The right hand there from Harris. Flores was doing the right thing there, trying to stay low. We keeping that head movement of making Harris miss with the jab, but he got through with the right hand. Yeah, quick hands there from Harris. He throws the shots and gets out of trouble. And Flores walks him forward. Oh, lands a couple of right, then a left. And Harris able to step away. Good change of direction again from Jay Harris. Oh, nice right hand, lovely shot. And then keeps those feet active, keep him out of trouble. I think that's important because Flores always fires back, doesn't he? Oh, oh, right shot. hand there from Flores. Sold him low with the left hand and came over the top with the right. Oh, another right hand from Flores. Oh, good left hook there from Flores as well. A cracking shot. Oh, 
And again Another, with the right yeah. hand, yeah. Oh, and a left oh. hand there from Flores. And Jay Harris still standing in range. He gets bullied into the corner once again. Flores having his most success of the fight so far here in round five. Still a minute of it to go. And then Harris comes back with some shots of his own. Most of them off the gloves. A busy work nonetheless from the Swansea man. It's a bit you go, I go at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but I think it's Harris who's working the hard at the two, though. Oh. And the uppercut there, a nice shot from Harris. Well, points in this fifth round has very much taken a defence's optional approach. <laughs> Flurry trying to work up the body. See, he, he likes fighting inside here, Harris, but he kind of going to be on the jab for me. Good work, good left hook. And then the right as well, it was a good shot, right on the belt. Flyweight belt. Both men coming in at 108 pounds. We've reached the halfway stage. Both men with plenty to be positive about as Harris tries to get that uppercut away in close as well. Again, you talk about him getting behind the jab. We see when he's at range there, certainly got the advantage. Oh. Yeah, he has, and he likes to fight inside, don't know, and, he, and he, he can be quite effective in it, but oh, good right hand, I think he just got a stutter step there from Flores. But again, he's, he's just, you know, it just allows the guy with the shorter reach and, and, and you know, to, to, to fire back and have success with you. I think if you keep it long, you jab, half a step back, come back with the right hand. Nice shot there. Harris catching Flores on the way in, and then Flores returning in kind. Another good, good shot from Flores, and Harris is down. It's a body shot. The second bout in a row that Jay Harris has been dropped with a shot to the body, and he is in a world of trouble. It was always going to be a possibility coming down a weight, and now Flores smells blood. Oh, big shot there from Harris as he lands, oh. dropped again. Second time in quick succession. Harris can't believe it. Flores has been threatening to do it. It's been waved off. It's back-to-back -back defeats for Harris, both from body shots. Flores has travelled. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest comes to an end at 1 minute and 32 seconds of round number six, declaring your winner by referee countout and new WBA Intercontinental Light Flyweight Champion, Hector Flores. And please show your appreciation for Jay Harris.